uh, some conservation plans uh, seem to suggest that as long as you have a population somewhere with the right number so that they can maintain genetic diversity forever, then they're not extinct, so we have succeeded. And I would challenge that. I think you have to ask, what do these species do? You know, that, that suggests that it's like having an ornament. It would be a shame to lose the ornament, because it's rather nice, it's interesting, uh, the ornament can be studied, but it, it, these, these species are not ornaments. They, they play a role in the ecosystem. And many of these ecosystems are essential to life on Earth. And one of the most important roles they play is in seed dispersal. So when you walk through a forest, look around, see all these huge trees, some of them have been there for centuries. But you have to ask, well, who planted the tree in the first place? And who will plant the trees that will be there in centuries to come? And the answer for most tropical tree species, um, it, it varies according to which forest you're in, but between 75 to 95 percent of tropical tree species have their seeds dispersed by animals. And they do that by wrapping the seed up in something tasty, which we call fruit. And if a fruit-eating animal eats the fruit and swallows the seed, that seed passes through the gut and then a day or two later is deposited in a nice little pile of fertilizer, mm -hmm. the dung, miles from the parent plant, perhaps, and those seeds then germinate. Now, in order to survive the passage through a very acidic gut and, and big teeth grinding it, those seeds have to be tough. And that means that if they just drop off the tree onto the floor, they're so tough, moisture doesn't get in, they don't germinate, or very low germination rate. So these trees depend on their being. <coughs> Apes and elephants and, and toucans and tapirs and spider monkeys, you know, whichever forest you're in, they will be fruit-eating animals whose job is to disperse the seeds. My answer is, if, if the health of the planet depends on the tropical forests, and the health of the forests depends on there being apes and elephants and birds and bats pollinating and seed dispersing and creating light gaps, doing all the things that they do in the forest, we need to include that in our plans for protecting forests. Animals are part of the forest and they shouldn't be forgotten.